Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. Once again, some clear skies for tonight, but precious little, if anything, in the way of targets for this evening. If you want to take a look outdoors at the night sky, one of the things you're going to have to do, especially if you want to catch any leftover meteors from the Leonid meteor shower taking place and waning as we go along over the next several days, is to get away from city lights like this. Very bright lights interfere with your eyes ability to see the very faint stars and meteors out there. So a dark sky sight would be one of the best things you can possibly do to get to like a state park away from the city lights of Shelby County in the Memphis metro area. Try to find a nice quiet spot on a nice clear dark night. That's going to give you something a little bit more to look at. Even the stars of the galaxy come out very nicely. So a good opportunity to see more there if at all possible. What are we looking for? Well for tonight again I'd like to be able to tell you about some great satellite flyovers, but right now there's just really not much of anything taking place at this point. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead into tomorrow morning, which again, there's a few faint ones coming overhead, but much of what we're going to be seeing is going to be fairly dim, especially in the early morning light. But at about 538 in the morning from the northwestern skies going just above Orion and then curving down to the southeast, the International Space Station will be very bright and easily recognizable. So a good opportunity to see this. But again, you're going to have to get up and fairly early at about 20 till 6 in the morning to be able to see this. A good transit across the Mid-South and again from northwest to southeast. That's where you're going to be seeing this into tomorrow. Tonight, if you take a look in the skies, the lower brighter star is the planet Venus. And a little bit farther up and to the left, that's the planet Mars back up into around the area of Capricornus the goat. Venus is in Sagittarius. Saturn no longer visible. It's went down around too close to the sun to be able to see. On the opposite side of the sky, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Tomorrow morning in the same area, when you get up to look for the space shuttle, you'll see Orion. You'll see Canis Major, the big dog with Sirius, the bright blue star in the lower left from Orion. You'll see Gemini very clearly out there and the moon about last quarter a little bit farther up in the southern skies. On the opposite side of the sky you've got Leo the lion where the moon is going to be close to the lion's front paw and you're also going to be seeing Jupiter out there. That's going to be in and around the area of Virgo rising in the east. And again, that International Space Station flyover will be at about 538 Memphis time tomorrow morning with good visibility and a very bright reflection from the space station's solar panels. Want to know more about astronomy? Stay tuned. We'll have updates coming up in regards to what's going on in the night skies on this astronomy blog, our exclusive astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. Any questions, concerns, or ideas about what we could feature on here, please let me know at austin.com onic at wreg.com. I'm an astronomy enthusiast. I always have been interested in what's out there in the universe, what we can see from the night sky, and also interested in the technology that we use to look out there, whether it's telescopes or satellites or anything like that. I'm a big science nerd, so this is a very cool thing for me to be able to do this. And if there's anything you'd like to see on a regular basis, please let me know, and we'll see if we can feature that out there as we go throughout the course of the next several days and weeks, getting into the possibility of, again, some colder temperatures in the next week and some more clouds out there and rainfall, so limiting our chances for anything involving uh, sky gazing as we get into the later portions of the next week as Thanksgiving approaches. But again, good opportunity to see more out there if you go outside and just take a look around. From the backyard with Big River Crossing in the background, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. And remember, when it comes to science or anything involving astronomy, always keep looking up.